So, apparently, to the FTC, we content creators are just fucking fish in a barrel. And we have a literal gun pointing to our heads. I try I tried recording this video video the first time around, and I went off a little angry. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm blown, I was full blown fucking this, and I'm I still fucking am now. Cause this is a little fucking bullshit. Okay, if you know the story, I'm gonna give you the short gist of it. YouTube, the FTC finally, finally, at least they caught on that YouTube was act sued YouTube for like over a hundred million dollars. Dollars because apparently the YouTube was actually taking data from kids to actually recommend them videos. It was in FTC was no YouTube, you can't do that. What the fuck are you doing? And they were found a cot and they got sued. Boy, <laughs> YouTube got, got screwed over. And now the FTC saying, Yeah, you change your shit, shit man. And, and they were like, Okay, but YouTube decided to just fuck the creators over. In the process, and that way they can be of they can avoid getting sued ever again. Because YouTube, we only care about you guys when we are gonna lose money. Isn't that wonderful? We don't give a shit about you. And we'll still we'll just bleed you dry. Right? Content creation, actual people who actually want to make good shit, shit, even if they're low poly and, and they really are trying their effort and hard, hard, or they just can't. Oh well, too bad. Your content's labeled for kids, kids. So guess what? You now have to pay, pay us a shit ton of money. Pay the FTC a shit ton of money, over forty thousand dollars, or to be exact. Because fuck you. Now you most likely are thinking, thinking, well, we could obviously, well, there must be a way for you to help us, right? No, get yourself a lawyer. It ain't our job to care about you. Do you? Ah, ah, ah. We're clean and innocent. It's you guys' fault now. I mean, it's it's not like we're at fault for anything. It's not like we should actually try and help you guys or take responsibility. No, no, no. Because we'll let the FTC handle it. Because their way is better. Please keep note. The FTC's COPPA rule bullshit is vague beyond fucking hell. And you are going to see as we go down. Now, this is what they say is for directed for kids 12 and under. The subject matter that is appealing to kids. Kids jokes, kid games, video, vi video slash computer games. Video slash computer games. So, what you're telling me is Grand Theft Auto, that's a kids game, of, uh, right? A rated M game. I guess the ES ESRB system doesn't exist for COPPA and the FTC because they are too fucking... They're incompetent. They are incompetent with their wording. Children TV shows or stars, cartoon characters, animation channels are now dead. <coughs> Sports, stories, toys, so unboxing videos, toy reviews, and people who make why the stories, but I don't get that one. Children's books, fantasy. So every art, every J, oh no, wait, JRPGs are already part of the, part of the video game genre, so they're just double dead. Children's arts and crafts, pets. So wait, I can't make a video on my dog. I don't actually have a dog, but wait, but I was using it for context. Oh, you guys, get it, get. So I can't make a video talking about my dog or saying, "Hey guys, look, I got a new dog." Hey, his name is Rover. Oh no, wait, I can't because uh, even though my my audience, my analytics show, yeah, my audience is above the age of eighteen. It's eighteen years old I know I checked all of you guys are 18 teen so my question is are you telling me that my audience 
So, are you telling me that, oh, if I make this video, it's automatically for kids because, oh, wow, you're talking about your dog. You're showing a dog. That's kids' content. No, it isn't. It's literally about me just saying, hey, I got a new dog. There is nothing kid-friendly about it. that. On the basis, because I'm only making, as I say, it's like one short five-minute clip. Of me just saying, hey, here's my dog, okay, and I go back back to my regular old content. Tent. Then, oh, all of a sudden, I get flagged for that shit. That's just bullshit! Products finally, nearly purchased or consumed by children, like snacks, snacks or cereal. Uh huh. Okay, language of the web sites such as langu language that is simple enough to be on un children's. Stuff and under colorful descriptions, slang, pop culture phrases. It's like fun. What? Why? Why the word fun? Have, why? Why use common words? Free stuff, whatever, cool, duh. Games. Ask your parent. The only thing that makes sense is ask your parents! Or, duh. Or ask kids only. Why? The only thing that makes sense is ask your parents. Why is it the rest doesn't make any logical sense? Why? Why fun? Why free stuff? These are such common phrases and words people use. <sighs> Visual content appealing to children. Everything I just highlighted, I highlighted is proof that these guys are literally too vague. Animated characters. Bold, fast moving graphics or bright, vibrant colors. So, high octane animation, animation so sh anime, may, and once again, I say animation channels. So, we're just borderline trying to murder all forms of channels, right? Use, ho use of host ca characters, ca often character by. Property use offline, you know, on television, it's a comic, so the Elska Gate shit. Okay, yeah, that one I actually am okay with. Let's just get rid of that that crud. The age of models, using children as models. Okay, again, I'm something I'm okay with because we shouldn't use children as models. <sighs> Whether advertising, icing appearing on the web, is directed for children under 13. There we go. Oh, ads generally are are consumed by kids. Audio content, so not sim or simple popular tunes, songs, cartoon voices, childish noise effects, noises or sound effects. I'm kind of mixed on that one because it makes sense. On commercial sites, foreign sites, <sighs> but overall. This is vague beyond hell. And please keep note that if you actually listen to what these what the people in FTC actually said, they literally compared actual content creators, people whose livelihood is actually dependent on YouTube, who aren't in the 100 mils, because who literally 40 grand is literally a slap to them, a literal, a literal. Up on the wrist to them is nothing to people with the low sub counts like me 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 oh no that's a literal slaughter although then again it's literally for every video not per channel so then again maybe even though maybe those and those who aren't even above 1 million will, will get brutally slaughtered we're all literally being fed to the fucking into the literal slaughterhouses to die. Now, you're most likely thinking, Conrad, has YouTube finally fucked up? Has they finally decided to just say fuck the creators? They have to at least have given some form of helping us. Yeah. 
They did. This is Locks in the video, by the way. You should watch it. They, they did. It was such a grandiose way. Like, it, it's 100% helpful, guys. Like, legit, it's so useful. It, it, it's a magnum opus, really. <laughs> if you can't tell by my voice, you know, I'm bullshitting. I'm going to use one of my own special videos. Hmm, should I use the whole supporters of the National Next? Oh no, wait, I'm going to probably delete that soon. Because remember, it's me talking about Pokemon. And remember, Pokemon's for kids. I mean, it's not like the anime age that the fan base is full of a majority full of adults. <laughs> but you got to see what this wonderful function is. Your video, is this video made for kids? Well, I put no. My entire channel is not made for kids. Oh, fun fact, you're most likely thinking, well, Conrad, I'll just make my content for kids then. <laughs> Good luck surviving. You can't recommend your videos. You can't put, can't put, can't recommend any other videos. Your videos don't show up in, show up in the suggested or recommended feed, the feed. So people are literally going to remember your channel's name, name, name in order to actually spread info about it. And remember, these are kids. They're probably going to be forgotten by the next two hours. 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 And not only that, let me add more fuel to this shit storm of a fire. Fire. Your YouTube is, you will literally only get borderline 10% of what you're actually making per video. You want to know where the other 90% is going? If I remember correctly, I think it's either to go into YouTube's pockets or the FTC. You're literally getting jack shit, shit, after you put in so much hard work and effort for your child-friendly content. I didn't know YouTube could find a new level to fuck us over. But then you're most likely, then you're calling, shouldn't this be helpful? Nope. Remember, oh, I forgot to mention, apparently the FTC, YouTube's decided to let the FTC handle with their own bots. And fun fact about government bots, they're shit. I mean, I know this is America, I shouldn't have said something so cruel and blasphemous, but... This is literal shit. Because bots don't understand the magical word of the day. Context. That, that miraculous thing that actually helps content creators in their life struggle. But then again, the bots are too fucking retarded to even understand that basics. It's a shit. So... I literally have this as a thumbnail, you know, showing Za, seeing Zamazenta, you know, that as a thumb, because frankly, it's a review of Pokemon Sword and Shield, and I'm reviewing, and what makes better is this, than just putting Pokemon Sword and Shield, because I'm not, I can't edit for shit, I don't have a Photoshop, I don't have any of that shit, shit, most of my, if not all, all of my channel thumbnails are either from YouTube's anime, anime thumbnail, choose by, Choose bond, or I get them from the internet. But oh no, Mr. Big Bad YouTube, Big Mr. FTC bot sees anything child friendly whatsoever. If it's shown for a microcosm of a second, can boom make his content. Boom, I get sued for forty grand. I can't pay it. Boom, I'm sent to prison. Now, I might be over dramatic. Oh, who the hell am I getting? I'm blown. I'm literally pissed off beyond hell. Hell. And I genuinely am angry. Because this is affecting all YouTubers. Not just me. The guy who literally started during summer, summer May 2019 because he thought it'd be a good year. I just got to 26 fucking subs. And then this shit has to start happening. But. Yeah. Shoot. I forgot. But if anything. Yeah. It really is the most boomer law of all kind. If anything. I'm, you should probably look at Chad Tonics. Jim Sterling's. Loxton. Nuxtaku's. Who's. I'll be on a video. And also, if I want to actually leave some nugget of light and hope, we just got away from MadPat to make a video on it. 
Now you're most likely question, asking the question, Conrad, why MatPat? Because I recently just got off watching Nuxaka's video, and he said, hey, let's wait for MatPat to make a video on it, because he actually knows a lot of shit, shit, ins and outs of YouTube. Dude, he actually has a lot of friends in YouTube, so frankly, hey, let's talk to him, let's wait for him to come up with a video, because that's going to be really helpful. Because he'll know, know whether we're all going to get screwed over or not. Because if it says we're all doomed, we're we'll fucking all leaving. That's it. This is the last straw. Because frankly, we need to put our foot down. This is literally the moment where we need to say no. We are tired of this. We are tired of you, you using us and abusing us, seeing us. The people who have actually made you too big. At this point, it's no longer, oh wow, YouTube's no longer recommending my content, oh wow, YouTube's to monetize everything I do. No, no, that shit, although it screws us over, we can actually won't find a way to fight, find a way to surpass that. YouTube has literally threw us into the hands of the government and legal system, so that way they no longer have to be punished for their own incompetence and laziness. Or rather, their lack of actually saying, you know what, we gun goof, it's our responsibility, we need to own up to it. No, they pay the money, then they're like, let's just dump it on the content creators, because they're the ones who need to be need to be punished even more. I mean, it's not like it's our fault. We're the good, we didn't do a single bad thing here. I mean, it's, I mean, we have a kid app, YouTube Kids. I mean, it's not our fault that kids make make fake account accounts us that actually have have ages older than than what they really are, and then they use that to make that to watch all this content and stuff. These YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> then again, it really isn't YouTube's fault. People are very very much do that for all accounts. But still, they decided to just that it was a good idea. To put the FTC, people who literally called you to, called all content creators, fish in a barrel. Like shooting fish in a barrel. They literally compared to shooting a fish in a barrel to people. To actual people with lives. Lives. That, that borderline is fucked up. That's actually fucking disgusting and scary. And you just like, yeah, yeah you guys can, you guys handle it. We, we don't care. What the fuck? Is this how much you give a shit about us? You only give us this tiny, insignificant little, oh wow, um, uh, you, for, you got a name while you go, it's friendly. You won't even defend us in court or give us a fucking lawyer? You won't even give us that. No joke. They say, oh, if you're being sued, if you're getting fined for this shit, get a lawyer. You can't even actually pay for us, give us a fucking lawyer. You can't just defend us for once. You've literally have just decided to prove even more how little you give a fuck about your creators. How little of a fuck you care. At this point, we all should just literally be be unionized and go on strike. All you should just have a unionized group group and go on strike. Because we are literal workers who go to our go to a company. Literally think about it. All YouTubers are kind of like workers. We make the videos, we edit them, we upload them, and then the boss, based on how well the video does, gives us money for a monthly check. Really think about it. But now, oh yeah, you need to hit over a thousand subs, subs to actually get monetized. Oh wow, these videos have swear words in them. We're gonna have to take away all that hard more money. You're literally, literally screwed over and over and over again. And you're most likely like, Connor, but you've never been once mad about 
the whole monetization thing. I wasn't mad because I was adamantly okay with striving to get to a thousand. But this, this new level of bullshit, this new level of just fuck you. I didn't know YouTube borderline decided to just give up on caring about its creators. I mean, I already knew they didn't care, but they at least pretended that they did. But no, let the government handle it this time. At this point, I want another company like you do to just come in and come in. I want another company to just come in and be the new YouTube so that way all the content creators who are here can actually have a reason to just say fuck YouTube and leave. Trust me, the only fucking reason no one has left this platform yet is because there is no other platform to go to besides YouTube. Twitch is a live streaming platform. We can't go there. Here. Mixer is another platform we can't go there. Live streaming. We need another YouTube video plat YouTube like platform to go to, to so that way we can all just leave. Because trust me, the moment either the YouTube create on the creators finally unionize or we all universally decide to go on strike and leave. Oh guess what? YouTube Oh yeah, we have all these popular people. So what? If every single single person who watches a YouTuber's video and every single YouTuber decided to just say, don't go to YouTube for a week, stay steadfast and don't watch a single YouTube video, avoid YouTube at all costs, costs, and then all the YouTubers decided to not make a single video for a whole week or for two days, YouTube would literally be in a shitstorm. They'd literally have be panicking and be begging for its creators to come the fuck back. They would literally be on their knees, kissing our fucking feet, pleading, crying, begging for us to come back. Back. And that's when we fucking get them. That's when we mentally force them to listen to us again. Because I'm sick and tired of this bullshit game of fuck you. This is disgusting. This is borderline disgusting. YouTube should be being punished and should be the only one getting punished. Not us. And if anything, if you're going to punish the creators, punish per channel. Channel. Basically, punish the channel itself. So, if they have videos like this, not just per video, because that's insane, that screws it up, fix these rules, make them less vague, make them more specific, because YouTubers like Jake Paul and Logan Paul, they should be punished. Wanna know why? Because if you actually look up Nurse video, Nurse's video on it, you can actually see why. Because they literally, most of their time on their videos is literally just saying, hey, Go buy my merch, buy my merch, buy my merch, buy my merch, merch. 15 minutes, 5 minutes later, buy my merch, buy my merch, don't forget to buy my merch. It's literally blind advertisement. It's manipulating the kids who watch this dude's content. But, oh no, my content. Oh, um, uh, I have a Let's Play series of, um, Pokemon. Come on. Oh no, it's Pokemon? But yeah, but it's fan game. Oh no, that's kids' content. Even though, in literally... One of the videos of said kids content, it has, as the thumbnail, a person literally <sighs> Did it literally just As the thumbnail, as the legit Flippin' dumb mail. What the fuck? Okay, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen on my seen when I've ever I swim through this there it is. As the legit thumbnail, you can see 
that this is literally someone being stabbed through the chest. This is the thumbnail. This is the thumbnail I literally, like, literally copied and flipped up. Top. I chose specifically for this video because this is not a not your average Pokemon game. This is a fan game that's actually really dark. But no, it's gets on because of the word Pokemon. That's how this video is gonna be fish in a barrel, barrel, very shooting fish in a barrel. Look, I just went in on the last part for just saying fuck YouTube, too. Because if this is how they're gonna treat us creators and literally throw us to the wolves and they aren't even gonna help us, why the fuck are we even here? Oh, yeah, I know why. Because we literally have nowhere else to go. YouTube is our livelihood. We can't quit it. That's the sad part. We are literally forced into a shitty business, shitty job. Job where we were supposed to get away from all the shitty jobs. We were supposed to have a passion, talk about things we love, but content creation? Pfft, it's literally a hellstorm. Storm. My videos do shit, shit, and I'm proud of that. My videos are shit, I'm proud of that. The people who watch my videos and like them, pfft, I'm proud of that. Or because you somehow found some nugget of gold in a piece of shit. I know that shows, shows that I'm somehow. I'm, Somehow a master, or if you guys are somehow so merciful, I don't fucking know. But if anything, I'm using the entire time. Although I'm gonna. Delete the locks and comment thing. But this is going to be all in the description of this video. You can watch Loxon's video, you can watch any other YouTuber's video on it. Just please. We only have till like December 9th, I believe, we've to actually fight some fight for this. And I'm asking all content creators. Creators. All YouTubers, please keep know you're gonna get screwed over too. So please help us. Please help me so that way you can help yourself so that way we can all save each other's butts. I don't wanna trust bots and I don't wanna trust this trust the government trust the government to actually say, Oh, if my kid it's kids friendly. I know my content is kids friendly, but I don't wanna want the government to say, Oh, it's kids friendly because the bots said so. It ain't. But anyway, that's my take on it. You guys know what to do. Like, sub, share. Share the fuck out of this video, please. It's not so that way I can get boost in views or get. No, I genuinely want to make sure we avoid, or at least fight back enough, so that way we can at least get some groundwork. Look on what the hell is going on, on and fix these fucking laws and make them less vague. Cause I'll feel a lot better if that is actually done. But anyway, this is Connor Valone signing off. Please be sure to share, like, and sub. Bye. Make up the worms.